Today, we're talking about the most controversial subject in Leathercraft. Hey, what's up? All right, I said in the title that this is the right way to do card pockets and in my mind it is, in a lot of people's mind it is. But this is the internet and I'm sure somebody is gonna disagree with me. In Leathercraft, there are a thousand ways to do anything and everyone thinks that their way is best. If you're a leather worker that doesn't like this method, that's totally fine. The goal of this video is not to upset anyone, but rather to help people. I feel like this is the best way to do your wallet T slots and I'll demonstrate why I think that. So just don't be offended if what I say goes against what you already do. I'm sure that your way works just fine. It's just the wrong way. All right, disclaimer and jokes aside, I think you'll agree with me, but just hear me out. So these are tea slots or tea pockets or whatever you want to call them. They have a T shape. What some people do is they make these and then when they make the wallet, they butt the top of one T slot up against the bottom of the next. Then next they stitch them up with everything like that. And what you end up with is this weird gap between the two here. And even if you get them close enough so there's no gap when you make it, over time they bend and flex and the leather stretches and then you still end up with that ugly gap. I don't want to throw anyone's work under the bus here, so I'm not going to show any pictures of it, but if you go onto Instagram and look at leather bifold wallets, you can scroll through that and you'll see exactly what I mean. And this is technically a right way of doing things in Leathercraft. This is a generally accepted method, but it is a pet peeve of mine and I just think that it looks sloppy. And I'm not alone in thinking this. Ira, tell them what you think of slot gap. Just sit there and say the line. No. Say the line, dude. No. Just say it. I don't want to say that. I don't care. Just say the damn line. Tim. Just say it. Fine. I don't like it. See? Again, if that gap thing doesn't bug you, then by all means, ignore me. Who am I to stop you? But if you wanna see a better way, then keep watching this video. All right, so here's how I like to make mine. What you wanna do is take your T-slot and then put it grain side down. We're gonna be doing some skiving on it here. I like to measure about halfway down the tab on the T-slot and then just mark it. And then do the same on both sides and draw a line with your all. One other way that you can do this is take that measurement and then you're gonna dial it in on your wing dividers and then you can just run this along the top of your T-slot and you'll get a nice even line, even if it's curved. That's probably actually a better way of doing it. Anyway, everything under this line is getting skived away. So grab your French edger now. You can do this with a skiving knife too, but it's a bit of a pain. Run it along that line you made until you have it nice and thin. I'd say about half the thickness it was originally. Then just skive the rest of the pocket away so it looks nice once it's all put together. And from here, we're gonna put it together pretty much the same way that you would with any other T-slot with one key difference. We're just gonna overlap the pocket slightly. And because we've skived down half of that tab, it's not gonna bulk up on you. Most importantly though, we've eliminated that slot gap thing that apparently drives me crazy. Now, just mark, glue, and stitch them up the same way that you normally would while keeping that overlap and never go back to making them the other way again. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Or am I kind of the odd man out here? Does it drive you crazy like it drives me crazy? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you're a newer leather worker and want to watch some more videos, go check out my beginner leather worker playlist. And then once you're ready, I have a few free templates that'll be linked below in the description. And I'll toss the link to my beginner playlist uh, here and a uh, link to another video you should watch down here. I appreciate it guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.